Hi guys, it's Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. I want to drop this really brief video to talk about some changes that Microsoft announced for the AZ900 exam as well as the DP900 exam. First of all, don't be alarmed. Once you look at the changes, you'll see that there's really no change. Microsoft does do this from time to time. They uh, update an exam, but then they really don't update it. If we go down to the exam skills and open that up, they, what they do with these PDFs is they put the uh, current requirements at the top and then halfway down they talk about the new requirements. And so here we go. The exam guide shows the changes that will be implemented on October 25th. And that's it. Make changing the name of Windows Virtual Desktop to Azure Virtual Desktop. Now, of course, I'm going to have to update the course to find any of these Windows Virtual Desktop um, places and change it to Azure Virtual Desktop, but that's pretty much it. The questions uh, should be among the same difficulty, the percentages, everything else is the same. For a DP900, of course, they're not talking about Windows Virtual Desktop, but there are a series of changes that are basically um, textual. Let's see, there's commas, and they changed the word with to from. They removed the no SQL, but left the non-relational data. I guess they thought that was redundant. And again, the with and the from. So really, it's just uh, what you would call a cleanup. So both AZ900 and DP900 are changing on October 25th, but there's no actual uh, changes to your study plans at all. All right, so I just want to put your mind at ease that there's nothing to worry about. Uh, if the course does need updating for Windows Virtual Desktop, I'll do that. Other than that, between these two exams, uh, nothing much is changing. So keep on studying. It is now uh, mid-September. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you could get this done by October 25th. So get to it. Thanks a lot. This has been Scott Duffy from Get Cloud Skills. I do have courses on Udemy for both of these exams. So check out my website. Uh, the one you can go to is softwarearchitect.ca. And I have links to these on the homepage of softwarearchitect.ca. All right. Thanks a lot for being here and have a great day.